If you've worked with Anchor Tags and Adobe Muse in the past, you know they offer a terrific approach for driving your users to specific content on a site. The Muse team is extending the Anchor Tag feature to work inside accordion panels. Let me show you a little bit about how Anchor Tags work within Muse and how you extend this feature to the accordion panel. I'm here within the Muse application and I'm working on kind of a background page for a portfolio website. And towards the bottom here, I have an experiences section. I want to draw the viewer's attention to the experiences section. So I've added an anchor tag just next to that area. And if I scroll back up towards the top of the page and zoom in a little bit here, you can see I've added a hyperlink on the word childhood. If I pull down under file to preview the page in the browser, what you'll see is as the viewer comes into the page, they can click on the word childhood. This nice JavaScript transition gently scrolls the viewer down to the My Experiences section. Let me show you now how you can apply the same feature inside an accordion panel. If I come back to this page and we zoom out a bit, you can see towards the bottom I'm working on a CV or a list of resume details for this artist. Now, CVs tend to be really long. There's a whole lot of content that I need to reflect in the design. So what I've done is broken out the sections here as specific accordion panels. So there's the exhibition section, um, group exhibitions just below it. Let's say I want to draw the viewer's attention to the group exhibition section of the CV here. What I can do is type A on the keyboard or come over to the tool panel and click on the anchor tag tool. Now, instead of dropping the anchor to the left of the document, what I want to do is come right in and drop it just inside the accordion panel that I want to link to. I'll go ahead and give this a name. I'll call it Group Exhibition there, and I'll click OK. I'm going to go ahead and close out this accordion panel. Muse remembers the default state of an accordion panel when you publish or preview in the browser. So with that close, the accordion will begin in a closed state. I'm going to now scroll up towards the top of the document, and I'll just grab another bit of text. Let's come in and select the word matured. And in the hyperlinks dropdown, I want to just select that new anchor. This time, when I pull down on File to preview the page in the browser, Muse is going to render all the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and open up that page for me. Notice when I now click on the word matured, Muse goes to the accordion and actually, in an animated way, using JavaScript, elegantly opens up that panel. Let's say I had another section of the panel open again. Swing right back up to the top, click on that tag. It's going to close the old panel and open the new one. I think this is a really nice hidden feature in Adobe Muse, and I encourage you to give it a try.